In this lesson, we're going to cover submitting a form, so actually performing a HTTP request and sending our data somewhere. Now, for the purposes of the video, I've actually filled out, fleshed out the form a little bit more, so it's now it's looking more like the form we want to end up with. We've got name, email, username, age, we have a sex and a password. So just to have a look at the HTML, so I've just copied and pasted the just standard HTML input elements. I've attached ng models to them appropriately. The interesting one here is that I've added a select box. And yes, with a select box, you can still use ng model. Everything else is exactly the same. So how do we actually send a HTTP request in Angular? Well, the first thing we do is we want to inject the HTTP service into the controller. So all we have to do, and all you need to know at this point, is just need to add dollar sign HTTP to the function parameters for your controller. And then in our on submit function, we just type HTTP dot post. And then it's whatever API endpoint that you want to send the data to. For the purposes of this training video, I've created an API endpoint, which you are free to use. And then it's the actual data that we want to send, so form model. And then it's a success handler. Let me put that underneath. And that's function data. And then I just want to log a smiley face. Because it's good to laugh. And then I'm going to also handle the error case. Data. And I'm just going to log. A sad face. Okay. So when on submit gets called, we're going to make a post request to this API endpoint. We're going to pass the form data. And on a success, it's going to print a smiley face. And on an error, it's going to print a sad face. So let's have a look at the form. So let's refresh. Mill, Asim data looks good. We hit register. And there we go. There's our smiley face. Now this API endpoint that I've created also will return an error if you pass in the name as error. So let's see if our error callback works. And you can see there it goes our error callback works. And we got a sad face. So there you go. That's how you send a HTTP request in Angular. In the next lesson, we're going to be covering form validation because right now we are not doing any of it. I can send, I can set whatever data I want here, hit register, and it's still going to send it to the server and it's not going to give the end user any nice validation error messages.